and welcome to the another last test. Today we are going to test Terraria. I started some characters here and I just you know tried it out for a couple of hours and I quite like the game but Maybe I will do a let's play, but not forever, and today we are just going to test this, and we can first of all change our character, we could give him a red shirt or something, so you can make him look as you want him. So we can... We are going to... Softcore. So if we die, nothing happens. Or we just respawn and don't lose our items or something. We could have a female character. But we will take male. Then we can change the hair thing. Whoops, I got the wrong mouse. I'm sorry for that. But... Now I got the quiet one, and we can choose here some different hairstyles, and I guess we will just take the regular one, because just of the let's test, and we can make it look like this, just like that, then we can change everything of these things and create or if we click the random day there is a random character created and we will call him whoops test or I don't know just because of the last test except test or create world just a small one and we can call it let's test whoops okay now the world is generated and we just have to wait the underworld we I guess we won't see that in the last test because I will only do it for a few minutes because I don't want this get too long first of all because I don't have that much time and we start here with a demonic covers short sword a sharp copper pickaxe and a lazy copper axe. The inventory and this is normally a copper sword, short sword, a copper pickaxe and a copper axe. This the short sword is just a, a regular weapon as in Minecraft the sword. We could craft a long sword, but this this one is way faster then we got the pickaxe and with that we can just mine everything that we see here and the gel things that that was just here um, that are the regular enemies and now we will just chop down a tray and there it goes, we get a lot of wood, we got 32 wood, and in front of me that is no light stone or something, that is, what was that again, iron, that is iron ore, and we don't have to smelt that into these iron bars like in Minecraft, but we can craft, you know, um, some armor with it or something, and you see some sunflowers. 
And our little friend gives us money. We see here we got six copper coins. And they drop a gel. From wood and if we take one gel and one wood, we can craft three torches. And if it was night or somewhere dark, we can just put it down and then there's a torch, like in Minecraft. I don't want to compare this, I don't want to compare Terraria to Minecraft all the time, but it is, yeah, Terraria is like Minecraft, but, I don't want to say but very different, but it is. It is like a 2D Minecraft, and if you yeah but this is like bigger you can go into what we call it the nether without a portal in Terraria it is called the underworld and if we dig down down here then always go down then we get into the cave um, into the cave biome and under that there's the deeper cave biome I guess and then there comes the lava biome and then the underworld and this other guy walking around here this is Garrett he is our guide and this we can talk to him after killing the slimes, they can also hit us, and we got 49 life points left, and let's just talk to Garrett, he, they say there's a person who will tell you how to survive in this land, oh wait, that's me, if we click help, he can, he gives us some tips, but they are not very necessary and if we click crafting and take something put it in here he tells us everything we can craft this thing with the weapons and a lot of stuff is made out of wood and if we take stone and put it in here he tells us everything we need stone for to craft but yeah, this is very helpful so um, don't let anyone kill this guy and here we got a mushroom now we got that mushroom we see that restores 15 life consumable so if we get hit and ah I can demonstrate that if we get hit for and then we can just eat it and get 15 more life points we could craft some um, potions to help us and if you click shift it's automatically goes to a light source you got in your inventory I just saw that and on the left and on the right not on the um, very end of the map but nearly the end I ah, see a blue slime they are a little bit stronger than the green ones and if you hit a slime once they are keep trying to get to you until they kill you or get killed by you or die because of lava or something but I don't want to talk about that I just want to show you the world this is and you see here in the background the things you could craft a hammer and mine them craft these walls out of about every material you find here <coughs> and we see that now these acorn 
sign on our mouse. These are the saplings. We can just put one down and there it is. And here we see our first cave. Here are these pots thing. And now we see the great thing of the um, torches. Even if we just hold them, we can easily um, see. And I think that is great for um, caves. Because then you don't have to put everywhere your torches to see. And I want to go to the end of one of these worlds. And I hope on this end there is that what I want to show you. But this is... There's only one um, of these things in one world, either on the left or on the uh, on the west or on the east side of the map. So we got we have 50/50 chance to reach it, and we are right now in a different biome than we started in than where we started in. This is a jungle biome and we see that a purple slime and here's our first jungle enemy a jungle bat actually we are not very see we just ah we got shuriken the shuriken is ah uh, like you throw throw him in the up and they get come down and maybe you get them back or they just disappear. Oh boy. Whoa. Okay, just move. I don't talk very much right now because I have to concentrate where I put the dirt blocks and uh, now we need the axe and chop this down and yes I guess there is nothing more oh right here are different weapons, then in Minecraft you can get a... I could um, show you some... I could do that right now. So now we see that we saw these, and I will just get into the worlds. I guess I will take... I don't know who that was. Um, and this one. Okay, I will just um, show you guys something. Yeah, you can build very big house and you get a lot of things here. Ah, my um, defending thing. And look on this stone. If I tap on this pressure plate, it gets darker and now I can walk through it but if it is dark then I can it's like an automatic door and I got this is the wrong one single player was it J I have to look through these characters right now because I played for a few months uh, I didn't play for a few months Okay, here we see one thing, and I guess I don't have these anymore. 
Okay, now I can show you some of these things. Um, I got here. Hmm. I don't see them right now. But that would take too long to look through all of these chests. see on my back look on the character if we take this and we just put them in our inventory now they are gone the the white thing and if we I take these and put them back in here then they are back now I have to get out here we got our sword then I want to show you guys the demonic scythe this is actually a quite interesting book and now we can fly with our angel wings and here we see some enemies they are just in hardcore mode because I defeated one of the, you know, the enemies. Um, and here we are in the, um, in a biome. Ah, what was that called? The corrupt, or no, the corruptions. And we were slain because I didn't look on my health bar and I guess that was it because we got one frame and that is not very much so I will quit the recording wow two frames there's one of these things in our house and I guess it is not very nice if you if we have a low frame rate like that so I will just quit the recording and maybe if you guys want a let's play, a short let's play of this, then write it in the comments and I will see you next time in a let's test or tomorrow in Minecraft or today or something. See you then. Goodbye.